Ha! Good morning. It's Buck from Buck and Betty's Ship House Guns. Here today, shooting from my barn. Because it takes me back to where I just came from. Was up in Olympia, spending some quality time with our legislators, talking about all of this bullshit. So, the barn smells like bullshit. Olympia smells like bullshit. So, here, let's make some bullshit. Meet Ribeye and Tomahawk. Think it'll be some tasty, tasty critters. Mm. Anyways, let's get down to business. I want to talk to you today about apathy. Apathy. Yeah. Holy smokes, Batman. Yellow bellied, pre amoebic, low down, lazy, excuse cuddling, keyboard warrior citizen you got around here. It's sad. Won't take a few seconds, a few minutes to stand up and protect their Second Amendment rights. All they gotta do, tap a few keys, say, con, against, I oppose. Try to make it real easy for everybody. Still can't do it. Oh, and some of that crowd's gonna sit back and go, oh, come and take it. Other ones gonna say, mm, not gonna comply. I'm no bootlicker. Yeah, well, how's that working out for us so far? It ain't working so well. Just got to say, we got to get everybody in the game. Everybody's got to get in the game. Look, even the cows are in the game. Look at that. They're ready to go. If they could type on a keyboard, they'd be in there and doing it. So, you got to talk to your local shops and ranges and shooting sport clubs and all that. Your hunting organizations, your outdoor conservation organizations. They need to get in the game. Washington Department of Fish and License, Fish and Game, Washington Department of Fish and Game just submitted a supplementary budget request for an additional $17 million to keep the Fish and Game Department up and running. Where did they get a lot of their money? It comes from the feds. It comes from a thing called the Pittman-Robertson Act which is an excise tax on every round of ammunition, every firearm made or imported into the U.S. of A. They take all that money, they put it in a pot, and then they ship it out to the states, and they run their fish and games department with it. They make improvements. They manage wild, wild lands, habitat. You know, run out of money. Yeah, so they want more. But here we are looking down the barrel of a whole bunch of gun laws going to make the gun industry in the state of Washington practically go away overnight. Manufacturers liability, if they didn't do anything wrong, but somebody used a gun in a crime, you can convict anyone from the gun industry, the ad agency, the manufacturer, the dealer, the distributor, anybody in that line. And you don't even have to demonstrate they did anything wrong. You can just sue them and win. Guilty. That's charged. That's it. You're guilty. Pay up. Did you do anything wrong? Assault weapons ban. Yeah. Effective immediately. The day it gets signed. Manufacture, import. Sells, transfers. Can't do it. And if you die, you can leave it to your kids, but you can't do anything else with it. Can't do any more. You want to move into the state? You got yourself an AR-15? Heck, you got yourself a model, Marlin Model 60. Can't bring it in. That's an assault weapon. Lots of pistols and shotguns. Assault weapons. Yeah. Effective immediately. So, get in the game. Got to get in the game. Get your conservation organizations like Ducks Unlimited and RMEF. And I like those guys. They do some great things for our habitat. They promote responsible hunting and fishing and wildlife management. Heck, I'm even wearing one of their coats right now. It's a fine coat. Yep. But they got to get in the game. They got to share this message with their membership. Because if they don't, it's going to be hard for Grandpa Joe to go down by himself a new 30 out 6 for elk season. He's going to walk in there, and they're going to say, do you have your purchase to permit? He's going to say, what? I'm an American. That's my purchase to permit. U.S. Constitution. That's right. 
That's my permit. They said, oh no, sir. You need to have yourself a certificate that you went and got trained, that you can run a Glock 17 like John Wick before you can buy yourself this elk rifle. Mm-hmm. Permit to purchase any firearm. You wanna buy a shotgun for duck hunting? Can't do it until you go down and do a class. Yep. Now ain't that a load of horse shit? Well, bullshit, really. Okay. I don't wanna keep going on too long. Appreciate your time. This is Buck from Buck and Betty's. Oh, Bob moved on, but it's okay. Betty's pretty and she smells a lot better hanging around the office. Certainly better than these little manure makers and those manure makers up there in Olympia. So get in the game, boys. Girls got to get involved. If you don't, they're going to take your gun rights away. And we can stand on all kinds of great court decisions that we have in our favor. But dang it, that is a hard way to fight. Don't let the camel in the tent. Keep it outside the tent. Okay? Get in the game. Spread the word. They even know. Ain't that right, ribeye tomahawk? Mmm. Having a tomahawk for dinner tonight, too. Mmm. Get in the game. Thanks. Bye.